Ole Miss versus Mississippi State, Rebels against Bulldogs. The matchup turned 114 years old this fall and has provided thrills and bragging rights for generations. Every contest has at least one moment that is forever burned into the hearts and minds of everyone present. The 1997 matchup in Starkville is the perfect example. So John Avery stepping back to get the kickoff from Jeff Walker. Glad you're with us today for the Egg Bowl. Plenty at stake for both of these football teams. That game there was going to be an opportunity for either one of these teams to go to a bowl game. Whoever won the Egg Bowl is going to a bowl game. So there was even more pressure. And the fact that our fans and our seniors had been through so much not being able to go to, to a bowl game, this, this meant a lot for, for this program to get us going in the right direction. And they're coming. Patrick has time, got a man wide open over the middle. Andre Rounds going to walk in for an opening touchdown for the Rebels. Despite the fast start on offense for the Rebels, the game would quickly turn into a defensive tug of war. Four wide receivers on third down for Mississippi State. Wyatt throwing it long, undershoots his man, and it's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Malika Griffin. Prentice on the end around, but he's going to be written down by Mitch Baker. Both Ole Miss, both our defense and Mississippi State's defense, they were great. There were a lot of star players on both sides of the ball there. Good reaction that time. James Johnson is smacked by Andre Harrison in the backfield. The game had truly been defined by defense. And with the clock winding down in the fourth quarter, the red and blue had possession of the ball and one last chance at the victory. And the Rebels are still alive with 2.12 to go and one timeout. I, I mean, it was it was a, a pressure game anyway, but this essentially this was our last opportunity. Absolutely, this was the last drive. We knew we had to capitalize on that. If we're going to win, this is the game-winning drop. Second down and a bunch, 23 to go. But of course, the Rebels, they've got to go to the end zone. You know, we, it was second and long and, and you know, even more pressure on our offense to, to get half of that back and then get the first down. Down 14-7. Patrick over the middle. And it's complete. Oh, what a catch. What a catch. Andre was an incredible receiver, and he goes up. And, and save the day essentially on that catch. There's the snap to Stewart. He's looking to throw over the middle. He's got a hand down. It's Andre, Andre. Roan. Andre Roan back of the end zone all by himself for the score. We're still out there. And it was just that hold it, wait. And we're, we're looking at the sidelines. And, uh, you know, we, you know, see if you guys come on the field and realize we're, we're, going, we're going for it. So we kind of came over on the sideline. I'm like, uh, you know, what, what are we going to do? I'm like, Let's go for two. I think Tuberville, knowing our offense and Noel Mazzoni, our offensive coordinator, trusting us, and he saw the look in our eyes that, hey, it, we, we got an opportunity here to close this game right now. Let's do it. So he's like, all right, we're going to call solo Z drive. Solo was the protection, Z drive was the play. Uh, when you're, you're the, the Z receiver, as I was, you're just running a, a crossing route, trying to beat one-on-one -on -one coverage. I remember I had a guy named Eric Dotson on me. He was a big nose guard, about 350 pounds. And uh, I was like, I got, I'm gonna have to cut this big joker because <laughs> the ball was gonna come right over the middle. Rebels trying to do it here. There's the snap, looking to throw back in the end zone. Oh, no, he got it! Corey he got Peterson! It! Peterson, a yard deep, makes the catch! The Rebels lead! Kevin Sluter was a it was a huge defensive end, great player, and I, I didn't really see the angle uh, until you know years later. But to see that angle from the back where he comes up, it really he comes about an inch or two from blocking that ball. Stewart just put it right under his arm, his elbow, and and I'm sure Kevin probably felt the ball go by. The Rebels had gambled it all, and won big. Ole Miss would go bowling that Christmas, while Mississippi State stayed home. There are egg bowls that equal the drama of the 1997 game, but there are none that surpass it.
Vegas. <laughs>